All right, so let's now focus on the second part for our property plan and equipment. In the first part, we focused on um, the property plan and equipment not. But in this particular question, we're going to focus on the general ledger accounts and the journal entries that have to be made. All right. So we're going to focus on the general ledger accounts and the journal entries. So the other aspects of uh, the topic are going to be discussed by those um, in class, those who have uh, joined our private tutorials, but it, we're going to cover these concepts with everybody who is, um, even those that have not become our students. But the rest of the material, like your practice questions for PPE, your depreciation methods, your determination of profit or loss on asset realization, as well as um, as well as uh, what else do we have here? Uh, so I forgot the other concept that we're gonna discuss. Okay, so the rest of those concepts we're going to discuss them in class. Right. So um, if you have not watched part one of this PPE you need to have a look at it so we're going to answer the part b which says we need to prepare the asset realization account in the general ledger so the asset realization account is basically uh, the asset account okay. okay so the cost of the asset will be this side the accumulated depreciation will be on this side so this is the debit side of our asset realization account this is the credit side of our asset realization account, right? And uh, if we sell it, so uh, if we sell it for cash, we're going to record bank, the actual amount it was sold for will be here. Okay. If we sold it for on credit, then we have a trade receivables control, it will be here, all right? If we trade in with the new equipment, then we're going to say equipment. All right. Then the trade in value will be here. All right. uh, then now we have to balance our asset realization account. All right. So we're going to get totals for both the debit side and the credit side, as we always do. If the debit side is greater, then it means we we have a balancing figure on the credit. So the balancing figure goes to the profit or loss. And if the balancing figure is on the credit, in other words, if the credit side is smaller, then it means we made a loss. All right. But if the credit side is greater, then the debit side is the smaller side and the balancing figure is on the smaller side. So our profit or loss the balancing figure is going to be posted to the profit or loss. So if our credit side is bigger than the debit side, then our, the balancing figure is on here. It's going to be posted to the profit or loss account. This happens if we have made a profit on disposal, right? So that's basically the anatomy of an asset realization account. So let's go through this particular question. So if you have not gone through um, the previous uh, recording, I would advise you to do that because we're not going to recalculate the um, the amounts that we already calculated. That will be um, a waste of resources. So you can go back to the part one for this PPE. Then you can determine um, the amounts as we which we have already calculated. All right. So when we talk of the asset realization, we use it to record. The sale of PPE. All right. So there's, we look for the PPE that was sold during the current year. Then we need its cost. So the cost is given here. We are told that it's 180,000. Right? Then the accumulated depreciation should be the accumulated depreciation not at the beginning of the year for that item disposed, but right on the date of disposal. Um, so right on the date of disposal so we have, which means that um, if we calculate accumulated depreciation or if we are given accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year 
and then the disposal happens six months later. Right? We have to calculate the additional depreciation for the six months and add it to the one we had at the beginning of the year, so that we have the total accumulated depreciation up to the date of sale. Right? So in this particular case, the date of sale is 1 November, right? 2009, having been bought on 31 October 2004. So if you count the years, you're going to say 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's five years at 15% straight line. All right. So it's going to be five years multiplied by 15%, multiplied by 180,000. So what we have there is... Um, 135,000. Then the selling price, we are given the selling price, it was sold for 31,000 around cash, which means that we're going to record um, 31,000 under bank. So this goes on the credit side, this goes on the credit side, this goes on the debit side. Then the balancing figure will be based on which of these sides is bigger than the other. So our asset realization account will look like this. There's a debit side, asset realization, there's a credit side. So our machinery cost is going to be the cost that is given. Accumulated depreciation for machinery is what we calculated. Here we have it as bank, uh, which is 31,000. My apologies here, I should have written debtors control. I'm saying I wrote it like this and I wanted to say in case it's sold on credit. So it will be trade receivables control or debtors control. But in this particular case, we are told it's bank. So you have to use bank, state 1000. So the bigger side is the one with the 180, this, um, right? Because here we have um, uh, 160, 166, all right. Uh, if we add 135 plus that one, uh, Okay, so the balancing figure is on the credit, which means that uh, the debit side is bigger. So when the balancing figure is on the credit, it means we made a loss on the sale of machinery of the balancing figure, and that's 40,000. Right? So if the, the balancing figure was here, then we would have made a profit of um, 14,000. Profit on sale of machinery. And remember that a profit on sale of machinery is going to be other income in the statement of financial position. In the financial statements that is disclosed as other income. Then your loss on sale of machinery is going to be uh, under other expenses. All right. Under your selling, your distribution, administrative and other expenses. This is also going to be an expense. So you need to be able to understand and calculate your asset realization account. And the most important thing uh, in the asset realization, apart from knowing which side, uh, which one goes to which side, it's all about calculating depreciation. All right. So which means that uh, you have to master the calculation of depreciation. Then if we're going to prepare as a bonus to prepare the machinery at cost, we know that at the beginning, the balance brought down is 280,000, right? So we have it there as 280. Then uh, we bought in more on the 31st of, on the 1st of December, we bought 145,600 on credit from fourth dimension. So this is an asset that is increasing. So it increases on the debit. Then the accounts credited is trade payables control as well as the fourth dimension company. Then we, to machinery realization, we um we enter the cost, the original cost of the asset that was sold, not the selling price, but the original cost price. And the original cost price is given here as 180,000. Right? So the balance is the balance carried down, which is uh, the balance of machinery at the end is 245,600. This is also the balance brought down into the following year. And the same applies to depreciation. Our balance brought down for depreciation is this. It will be on the credit. 
then all the depreciation that we calculated for the year, uh, which we calculated already in the previous um, part when we covered the PPE, uh, remember we calculated it, and it was uh, four eight three six seven. We covered this in the previous recording. So this is the depreciation for the year. Um, and if you have started with this recording, you might want to start with the other one where we explain how we get this amount. Right. So this amount is going to add to the accumulated depreciation. So it's going to be on the credit side, right? And then um, we also just now calculated our, um, what did we calculate? The depreciation that was removed when we disposed of the equipment. So this is going to be on the debit side because we removed it. So when we look at our accumulated depreciation for machinery, our balance brought down is on the credit. Then we added some more depreciation for the current year. It's on the credit. Right. So, so our realization of machinery is the one which we transferred to when we disposed the equipment is 135. So the balance carried down the balance brought down is the depreciation still remaining in the in the accounting records so do you see here that you can prepare your ppe note as well using the asset realization uh, and all these general ledger accounts so your lecturers can give you this general ledger accounts and then they expect you to prepare your property, plant, and equipment not. All right. So that's going to be very easy because you need your cost at the beginning is given here. Then your accumulated depreciation at the beginning is given here. All right. So you go to the balances brought down for cost. Then the balance is brought down for accumulated depreciation. Then you get your carrying amount. Then depreciation for the year is going to be this amount, right? Based on the calculations already done. Then for your disposals, this is accumulated depreciation for disposals. You come to the cost. Uh, this is the accumulated depreciation for, uh, no, no, it's on the, on the machinery cost rather. This is the cost of what was disposed. So the carrying amount of what was um, disposed, we can get it because we already have the cost of what was disposed as well as the accumulated depreciation of what was disposed right and then the balances at the end are going to be very easy because we just look at the cost at the end here is going to be 245 600 then now uh, the accumulated depreciation at the end is 78167 therefore we can calculate the carrying amount at the end of the year so you must be able to know how to determine uh, How to prepare your PPE note uh, using your general ledger? Because they will give you accounts, general ledger extracts for the uh, for all these things, your bank account, whatever, whatever. And they want you to still they want you to see if you can construct based on that, right? Uh, and you should be able to make sense of those things. Brilliant. Now these are the journal entries that we need. So we already have the amounts, right? We just need to know how do we get. Um, so we're going to use the so we're going to transfer the machinery at cost to the machinery realization account okay so the machinery at cost is an asset it's it is a, a debit balance we want to remove it so we're going to credit the machinery at cost with 180 right and we debit machinery realization where we're transferring it to and we use the general journal to do that the same applies to depreciation accumulated depreciation we are removing the 135,000. it was on the credit side so to remove it we have to end up to make a debit entry of 135 then we transfer it to the machinery realization at 135,000. so if you go to the machinery realization you should be able to see an entry for 180 on the debit and entry for 135 on the credit which is the information that we have here we have a um, where is the, the 
information and realization is here sorry that was the depreciation one all right so you have your now you've transferred your your asset to, on the debit is the cost on the credit is the accumulated depreciation right now you where is it it's here now you receive some money for this so you use your cash receipts journal to record that one thousand right in the bank you debit your bank then now the on the credit you put your you transfer that to the machinery realization it helps to determine the profit or loss then now we made a loss on disposal so we're going to debit loss on disposal using the general journal and uh, the balancing figure is on the machinery realization of fourteen thousand. so my question is can you try to make sense of this uh, stop the recording try to see if you can record this by yourself because that's very important so the most important things so far is to be able to uh, prepare your general ledger account for asset realization and the ppe node and then secondarily also these other uh, general ledger accounts then you should be very well on your way to understanding the material very well